Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly with 25 and 52. The cat is right here and keeps biting my hands, so it's a little distracting. Um, I wanted to talk today about prescription drug shortages because they are a royal pain in the butt. Um, my food cheat drug thing, gastrochrome, gastrochrome, was on back order. Is still, I guess, on back order, even though it was supposed to be in today um, at the pharmacy. And I like I was going nuts because even though I've been eating well, um, both meaning you know fairly healthy foods and foods that um, don't make my body react funny and then I crash. Um, so no gluten, no dairy, no eggs, um, little soy, little garlic, stuff like that. Um, it I was still having some symptoms and it wasn't great. And usually what I do in those cases that actually helps is I just take one of those before every meal, regardless of what's in it, instead of before there's just one with gluten or whatever. Um, but I was running out. I had like four individual vials left and I'm going to a wedding this weekend. Um, and with those, there's a little less leeway on the food. Uh, so I, I was like freaking out a little bit and what is happening? And then I thankfully thought to call my brother who has some too and he saved the day and gave me a couple packs of it and so you know I'm good until my prescription actually comes in. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, there's this article I read that um, takes a you know sociological approach to the recent uh, ADHD drug shortages. Although most of the article isn't really about that it's about the rise in ADHD uh, uh, diagnoses, you know, across the United States. Um, and, you know, I'm normally against the, oh, everyone really has it. And no, that's not what I'm saying. Um, but looking at um, the numbers of basically uh, in different states that enacted uh, correlated, you know, the school's rating with uh, standardized test scores the students with ADHD just shot up. Um, and so that was, you know, obvious and interesting. And in some schools, it's because they don't include uh, people with ADHD in the reported scores, but in other ones, presumably, it's like, okay, we need to get our scores up. Well, well you should see your pediatrician and ask them for a prescription. Um, because, you know, like most uh, brain drugs, it's general practitioners or if you're a kid pediatrician giving those out, which I'm not really a fan of, especially with kids. Uh, what was I saying? Anyway, it was a cool article. Um, I'll link to it if I remember. And yeah, this week has felt really long. Um, I've been drafted. <laughs> I do not approve of this. I've been drafted into new responsibilities at work and they're not getting rid of any of my old ones, which seems to be the normal way of things, um, but it's slightly annoying normal way of things. Um, on the upside, I really like my new, uh, it's not really new responsibilities even, it's like asking my input for more things and I'm becoming more of a go-to person for files that are complicated in particular ways. Um, and, you know, I, I like giving people advice and helping out um, and the tough puzzles that are these kind of thing. Um, but I do kind of wish it wasn't on top of all of the other crunch times that are going on at work. Outside of work, like I said, you know, I'm going to a wedding this weekend. Uh, Pat's cousin is getting married in Indiana, so we get to drive the couple hours. You know, I'm taking a half day tomorrow. And then we're having a mini vacation, driving to the middle of Indiana. Well, the north part of Indiana. Uh, thankfully, it's a short drive. Um, and then I get to hang out with my boyfriend's relatives for a couple days, which is always slightly like, uh, stressful. I like the relatives. I really, really do, but uh, stressful. <laughs> so I think that's all. Um, next week, this time, yesterday, at this time also, I will be hanging out with you, and that is super exciting. Um, I don't know if you've made any particular plans for things we're doing or people are seeing, but you should think about it and let me know. Um, I will also forward you a copy of my airplane confirmation so that hopefully you'll meet me at the airport so I don't have to navigate strange cities public transit by myself. Um, not that I haven't done that before, so really that wouldn't be too terrible, but whatever, I want to see you. So, I love you. I will see you soon. Bye.